I sit back and reflect on life Through bloodshot eyes and blow haze at the half-lit sky Hoping God to forgive all the shit a nigga did I'm on my own with just my life to give I got my life, I sit back and reflect on life You're watching Rollins Recap at North Texas Fisticuffs.com Now we come to another session of Rollins Recap Today is a very special day We're gonna leave the cage and we're gonna leave the ring alone We're gonna look at a couple of MMA fighters, we're going to take some profiles, and we're also going to be interviewing a lady who has taken on the charge and the challenge of wanting to cover promotions of our MMA. And right now, I'm at Icon Studios with, you're going to see our owner here of Icon Studios. We're in far north Dallas, and I want you to stay tuned as we bring you some exciting information on people who actually support the game beyond the fight game itself as we understand it. Okay, Stay we're tuned. here now at Icon Studios here in Dallas, far north Dallas. I got to give a little shout out right now to the owner herself, Normita Hoven. And you know what, what we're doing right here, we're profiling our latest forces that are going to be making noise at the pro MMA rank. I have none other than Elisar Rodriguez. Elisar, Good to me see you again. Not meet you, son, because I've already met you in Grapevine, baby. I already know who you are. This man right here was 4 and 0 as an amateur. You know what? He met no defeat in the amateur rank, so he had to step up to the pros. Right now, we don't have any type of fight on the horizon. But you know what? We're going to profile you right quick, Elisada, because I want people to know that you have an invitation to anybody. And what weight pound class? 135 pounds. 135 pounds, baby. Come one, come all. Between 130 and 140, we'll take you, or 135, is there a range there? Uh, 135, maybe okay. 140. But. Well, let's go ahead and talk right now. Right now, I know you stand at 5 feet, 5 inches. Mm -hmm. You hail from the, you're still fighting out of Ray's uh, Jiu Jitsu, Ray's right? Jiu -Jitsu, yes. Well, how about a little shout out right quick? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to Jose Reyes, Jose Reyes, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay, and that right there, you're also, uh, if I remember correctly, you're out of Dallas, the bright part of Dallas, Oak Cliff, right? Okay, I'll tell you what. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you a few things about this man. This man right here doesn't step back. He doesn't step back. He doesn't step down. All he does is step forward. And I want to tell you right now, as he makes his professional debut, what can you tell the fight fans they're in for? Well, they're in for an exciting fight. Exciting fights. Um, I'm an aggressive fighter, uh, and I try to keep it explosive and exciting for the fans. And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this man's humble in his talk, baby, because I've seen what he's done. He pins arms and he goes, what I'm going to say, striking at its best. Okay, Elisada, you know, there's fight fan information. Fights, you know, fight fans want a little bit more in-depth, probably looking to what really brings someone to the fight game. Let me ask you a question. MMA is, is a pretty rough, tough sport. Why don't you tell me what got your interest to get involved in mixed martial arts? Well, I guess I started my, I guess you call it a fight career uh, in one of the roughest and toughest sports, wrestling. You know, uh -huh. I was a high school wrestler, and uh, after high school, I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, to keep the competition going, so I decided to join uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school. Uh, I teamed up with uh, Jose Reyes, and uh -huh. uh, I'd say at about after maybe two years of just pure grappling, I decided to step into the cage and, and step up the action. But I want to tell you, now that you've actually got a, a little of experience of it and probably taken a couple of shots, I mean, that's just the nature of the game. You're going, to, you're going to give shots and you're going to receive shots. Hopefully the end is you've given more than what you've received. What motivates you now to keep on keeping on? Well, I guess kind of like uh, every fighter, you know, I want to step up to the higher ranks and become a champion one day, you know. Uh, I want to expand my, my fight game, you know to become a great striker, not only a good wrestler, a great striker and a good grappler. Well, I think what I'm hearing in you is that uh, what really drives you is to want to be the best of the best. Yes. I mean, that's that's it. That's just the bottom line. You just, just like anything else, uh, you know, as an interviewer, I want to be the best of the best myself. So I guess in your game, you've done that. Now, let me ask you, what are you thinking the future holds for you? I mean, am I going too far? I know you've just turned pro. You haven't had your first bout. What does that future look like? Um. I think you can definitely expect to see me in uh, some of the higher ranking shows, maybe within, I guess, two or three years, you know. I definitely expect to keep on winning and uh, move on forward, climbing that ladder. And I know I know you said 135, you're going to try to hold that as, as long as you can because you feel that mm -hmm. 
that at your height and, and at that weight, it makes you the most effective weapon that you can be, right? Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be a stronger fighter at 135. I got you. I got you. Well, I'll tell you what, anything else you want to let us know? I mean, because, you know, the inside information is really what makes a fighter and the fight fan that much more interested in the fighter. Anything else you can you can share with us? Um, <laughs> Just love to work out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> love to train. I love to fight. <laughs> Okay, well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that, that you're getting inside the head of these young warriors and what makes them tick. And that's just more information that you have. Elisar Rodriguez here. He's making noise. If not in your, in your mind, I know he's making noise in my mind. Just hold on, okay? We've and got I'm more information here and say you. this. As I bring this, this interview to a close, you stay tuned on our website and we will be bringing you the latest and greatest action as these young warriors pick up the game in the cage and make it okay, happen. ladies and gentlemen now we go to our next fighter none other than baby boy johnny wise jonathan wise here let me go ahead and shake your hand young man i tell you what I know that you make noise. I love the game of MMA, and I love meeting new fighters. Yes, sir. And I'm going to tell you right now, baby boy, you bringing it to the cage the way I hear. Even though you have your pro career is 0-1, that by all means does not identify from what I'm hearing, the fighter that you are. Right? Is that correct? Yes, sir. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, as we meet these young warriors, we can only see the commitment and the courage that they exhibit in the cage. At this time, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Baby Boy right here. The only reason I do that is because, you know what, his manager was out here, his trainer. Who was that that told that, you? That was my coach, my coach. Your coach, okay. So we're right on it. Calling him Baby Boy. But you know what, don't mix your hands up or your words with this Baby Boy here because he becomes a big boy. I know that. <laughs> i tell you what, Jonathan, why don't you go and share with us right now maybe what got you interested in MMA. All right. Um, back in high school, about five years ago, I was running track, playing football, uh, powerlifting. And a friend of mine said, all that's good, but together it's different. So he was talking to his uh, Kung Fu teacher. Mm -hmm. um, he's a Dallas police officer. We trained under him. Okay. And he started showing us things like, hey, you can, you can box, you can kickbox. We combine all of them. It's different. Started watching MMA events, started getting really close into that. So the uh, next step, we just jump into it. So five years wow. later, here I am. Well, let me ask you, high school, what, what, where, where are you from? North Garland. North Garland. Yes, Did you go to North Garland High School? North Garland High School. Oh, baby. Yes, they raised them up a little spicy down in the way I hear, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, well, let me ask you. I know that you're on one right now, and your next bout is scheduled to be in Laredo at the Fight Fest in Laredo. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And if I remember correctly, I think you told me that was March 11th. Yes, sir. March 11th, Laredo Civic Center. Uh, the Civic Center. Okay. So we're going to be able to probably be able to catch some of that information on MMA. Uh, TexasMMA.com. TexasMMA.com. It's not on there right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you go out there, I don't want to send bad information out, but stay in tune on that website. Yes, and that website will bring you the MMA action. Now, let me ask you another question. What do you do right now to really keep yourself, what keeps you motivated? In, I mean, to continue MMA, it's a rough sport. Yes, sir. What what keeps you coming back for those for those potential elbows to the face, maybe a broke nose, maybe a couple of teeth knocked out, maybe a swollen eye or a shut eye? What makes you come back for that? Getting hit doesn't bother me. Getting hurt doesn't bother me. It's losing. Losing is completely different to me. Losing is a, a pride thing. So that's what I'm trying to get. I, I can't handle losing. That loss was killing me on the inside. It's still killing me right now. So come back 1-0 oh, or 1-0 and zero, or 1-1. One one, then hopefully gotcha. hopefully. It's, Four and one by the end of the year. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. You know, what I hear, what I'm hearing you say is that you want to climb your abilities above all others. That's what I'm hearing you yes, say. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so that loss that you had still burns deep in your heart. Oh, yes. And you're going to go looking for that young yes, man again, aren't yes, sir. you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to go even the score, right? Yes, sir. Maybe we'll get a little ahead. Yeah. That's all right. It's all right. Nothing wrong with that. This young man's 23 years old. You can see he's in great shape. Hey, what do I see right here? Is it a little shout out to you? What are you uh, wearing here? Knockout Syndrome, a new uh, fight clothing. We have uh, shirts, we're making shorts coming soon, hopefully some more equipment. Right now, because they're starting up, all we have is shirts and some apparel and stuff. Well, let me ask you, do you know enough right now, and I know I'm catching you off guard, where people can actually maybe get more information on this, maybe a website or anything? Uh, it's, it's, is it knockout, knockoutsyndrome.com, I believe, but it's not up yet. Okay, okay, that's all right. I think we just got a knockout over here. Uh, let me move this back too up here pressure, right Too much pressure. Yeah, too much pressure. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as we're sitting here, I want to make one other little special mention right now. That's all right. We'll let that go. <laughs> this man has had no amateur experience. His heart burns 
for the sport itself. It burns to give you the action that us North Texas fight fans love. Even though he's not going to be fighting here on March 11th, I guarantee you, the rumble and the movement that you're going to feel on March 11th is going to be coming from Laredo, Texas. Yes, it's sir. going to be the Civic Center, baby. It's going to be hot. It's going to be moving. And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you stay tuned. You keep your eyes on this young man right here. None more than baby boy, Johnny Wise. Jonathan Wise. And as we bring you more fighters, you remember that all the action is caught here on North Texas Fisticuffs.com. Grab the mask and the gloves when it comes.